fire officials say they're taking it one step at a time in their fight against the Tenderfoot Fire. We have live coverage on the fire. It's on the east side of Yarnell. In 2013, the Yarnell Hill Fire was on the west side. The Tenderfoot Fire has now burned over 1,200 acres. 250 to 300 residents of the nearby town of Yarnell evacuated last night. Fire officials say ground forces and air support are working to push the fire east away from the town. Cronkite News reporter Eddie Keller is live in Wickenburg and he talked to residents who left their homes last night. Hey, we're about 30 miles down the road right now, but I can still see the massive pillar of smoke coming from the fire. We were able to speak to a few people who saw the fire firsthand. One woman described the fire coming down the mountain looking like a sea of lava approaching her. Another said she saw a Verizon store actually go up in flames. We went up the mountain as close as we could, but when we were there, we only saw the beginnings of the pillar of smoke rising in the sky. There was a lineup of cars belonging to residents who had been evacuated from their homes, saying that they were awaiting a police escort to go back and see if there was safe or if there had been any damage done to their property. We talked to a friend of ours that stayed up here. He did not evacuate. He was on the west side of 89 and he said everything was fine. He did not see any houses burning, so we're hopeful. Fire officials I spoke with, fire officials I spoke with said that these are really the key hours right now that are going to determine whether or not the fire situation gets better or if it gets worse. But we'll keep you updated as the day goes on. Live in Wickerburg, Eddie Keller, Cronkite News. We just got word that FEMA has declared the Yarnell fire a major disaster, making the state eligible for federal funds to cover firefighting costs. The move comes in response to a request from the State Department of Forestry and Fire Management. An abandoned campfire is now being linked to the fire burning north of Payson, known as the Reservoir Fire. The fire began on Monday, burning nearly 200 acres of land. Firefighters were successfully able to control the fire. Crews say the, it's actually expected to remain in its current parameter. The reservoir is still being closed to the public. Two other controlled fires, Juniper and Jack, near the Coconino and Tonto National Forest, are being used to remain to maintain landscape. Both fires were caused by lightning. Due to current weather conditions, fire operations will begin to slow down during the day. Another nearby fire in Wellington continues to improve. The 923 acre fire forced nearby residents to evacuate. As of last night, residents have been cleared to return to their homes. Crews continue to monitor its progress.